What's up, YouTube? Gibber right here, representing the Movement Towards Improvement, and welcome back to the Coach's Corner, where we showcase golf instructors giving tips, drills, and lessons. Over here, a beautiful Camelback Golf Course, and today I'm with a good friend, Mr. BK in the house, Mr. Big Kurt. So with that being said, let's introduce Big Kurt and drop in on his lesson and learn a few things. What's up, guys? Big Kurt here, a.k.a. Kurt Brown. Welcome to the lesson. We're going to be talking with my girl, Janine, today. And we're gonna be talking just her golf swing, help her out. Last lesson we covered a little bit more into her setup position and some concepts about the golf swing. So we're gonna continue that process today and definitely help her start improving. So I hope you guys enjoy. Welcome. And Gabe, thank you, buddy. Appreciate you having me on, my dog. Let's have it, brother. Let's go. Yeah, so Janine and I have been working together for about probably six, seven months now. This is our fifth lesson. She lives in Seattle during the uh, during the summer months so don't get to see her too often in the summertime so this is our first or second lesson back since she's been back in town and how long have you been playing golf for now probably eight or nine years eight or nine years what's badly. your badly badly we're getting better though aren't we yes we are. I love it what's your best score at this point in time maybe in 96 96 <laughs> and when was that was it pretty Just recent? The other day. Just the other day. I love it. That's fantastic. You didn't tell me that. No. You sneaky. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That's awesome. Good for you. Thank you. You feel like you've gotten better over this last five hours of instruction? Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Good. Absolutely. If I can remember everything that you tried to drill into my brain. Yeah. And and we never actually remember never. everything, but we remember some specific things. And if you can remember some of the specific things that we talk about that really kind of that stick with you for a long period of time, yes. that's what truly really is going to make you better. Absolutely. And what do you think that's the biggest thing that you that stuck with you since we started? How I stand over the ball. That set up. It makes all the difference in the world. Yeah. And when I came back to you just recently, um, we had to start it scratch again because I was not following your instructions. That's okay. I kind of went back into my old way of hunching over yep. and not standing up straight. And motor patterns have a tendency to never go away. So that's nothing that you should be ashamed of. When we go into a certain thing, we learn how to play a certain sport. Or we learn how to do a certain movement. And that's like a book that we've written. That, so that book that you wrote is probably about this big and the book that we're writing is maybe this big. So the book that you've already written is going to show up a lot more than the book that you were writing. So it's just gonna take time. It takes time, patience, and hard work. Okay. Cool, let's get into it. A ball, maybe? Yeah, go ahead and get loose. We're gonna take a look and see what's going on, see how the setup's going, the grip. That's mainly what we talked about last time. Yeah. And then just kinda of getting that golf club to swing a little bit freer and allowing that golf ball to get in the way of it here. It's all right. All right, let's go ahead and take a look real quick. You got the face on, and I want you to notice, we talked about the grip a little bit last time, that our right hand was getting a little bit too far underneath the golf club, and it's causing the club face to be a little bit more shut, which when we do make some of these swings, that's why the leading edge is digging in, and we're taking a lot of that turf. So we're just gonna get that grip a little bit on the weaker side with that right hand to where the handle of the golf club is a little bit less pushed forward at the get-go. Right, so we're just gonna move it back maybe about less than half an inch. So you see right there how we get in that setup position, how far the handle's pointed up towards that lead leg. Mm. Right, so mm -hmm. if we go, you see where you kind of start, and then right when you, before you go, we're pressing the hands forward, which causes the face to get even a little bit more strong. Mm -hmm. And it makes it a challenge for you to actually get the golf club to swing up into the backswing. So when we go up to the top of the backswing, you're gonna see the arms just lift the golf club up without much turn. Right, so we want to see that right shoulder turn a little bit more to help get the golf club a little bit more shallow on the downswing. Mm -hmm. Does that make some sense? Yeah. So you're going to see in the down the so line. I want it more like that. Mm -hmm. I'll show you here in a sec. So you see that 
right here, we're going to lift the golf club kind of up above this plane. And then from here, we're going to kind of chop down on it and then come across. That's why it's getting, that's why it's becoming a little bit of a challenge for you to make some good contact. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So we're going to show you here how to get that grip a little bit better and then just get a little bit more turn, allow the arms to swing a little bit freer in the golf swing, okay? Mm -hmm. Cool. So, what I want you to do is go ahead and take the golf club upside down. Take your grip. Good. Hand on there. Good. Other hand on. You see how your right hand looks? Mm -hmm. Is that a little different than what you normally see? I guess. Yeah, what do you normally see? I probably see more like... Kind of underneath and yeah. up to the side, right? Yeah. Go ahead, see, and when we open this up, go ahead and take that grip again, open it up. You're going to see it run through the fingers. Mm -hmm. So we want to see that same thing on the opposite side. So when you go ahead and take that grip, good, this hand a little bit farther over, good, and this hand to where this thumb is on this half of the golf club, there you go. Good, so when we take the golf swing here, go ahead and step down into it, a little bit more on top. Do so you see how this hand is getting a little bit under? Oh, there you go, good. Now oh. relax that elbow. There you go. Relax that elbow for me. Good. Now when you swing the golf club up, it's going to be a softer feeling with your arms and a bigger turn with your right shoulder. So you're going to be softer with your arms and a bigger turn with your right shoulder. So then you can unwind your arms a little bit faster in the downswing. Does that make sense? Yes, in theory. Okay. It's okay. Nothing to get upset about. So I'm going to give you this real quick just so you get that feel. So give me that good grip, right hand a little bit more over. There you go, relax your elbows. Relax it, there you go. Does that feel different in the backswing? Yeah. What do you notice? Well, it goes further. Goes further? Yeah. Which is one of my challenges anyway. There you go, that was perfect. Now let that right knee go into your left knee a little bit more on that forward swing. That was perfect. That was really good. You're fine. Right hand over. There you go. Good. Does that feel different? Yes. And what do you notice different here in comparison to when you actually swing the golf club? Well, I can get through it better. Okay. Go ahead and just brush the grass for me. Good. Does that feel different? Good. Right hand a little bit more over. Good. Relax your elbow. Good. Now don't forget about pushing the waist back behind the ankles here. There you go. Good. One of my hardest things for me. There you go. I want to do the death grip on the club. Yeah. That's what brings a lot of tension in the shoulders and the elbows, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. That was perfect. Let's see you do that with the golf ball in the way. And again, we're just letting the golf ball get in the way. We're not going to actually hit the golf, or we're not going to actually try to hit the golf ball. Yeah, that was beautiful, wasn't it? It felt better. Yeah. I and mean, what did you notice? Um, I got through it a little bit better. It was easier to turn. And... So like that. Mm -hmm. That's way better with the grip. Good. Now relax your elbows. Here you go. Good. Let the golf club swing up. <laughs> that was fantastic. I could do that every time, Kurt. I would be out of the job. That's <laughs> true. Very nice. That's pretty good. Good. Soften up that right arm. Let your shoulders point a little bit farther to the right. It's going to help that. There you go. Good. Now get that club swinging freely up and freely down as you turn. Right? But when you start putting that golf ball down, and this is where a lot of people get confused because they see that over the top aspect of things. And really, I find it funny because their practice swings can be very good. And all those over the tops is because we're trying to create contact. Mm -hmm. Right? If I don't try to create contact, I just kind of swing, 
and I'm looking over here right now, the ball's gonna get in the way of the motion. We don't need to create contact. If my fundamentals are good and if I grip it good, I stand, stand pretty good. I swing the golf club up, I swing it back down, the ball's gonna get collected at the bottom. There's no pulling on the golf club, there's no pulling on the shaft. You're not gonna get the golf club to stand up and do a bunch of crazy stuff. You're just unwinding those angles as you start to turn. You're liking to turn a little bit sooner. That's when the club stands up and you feel good. You get jammed. Does that make sense? So we're getting that grip better and we're getting that stance better to where you're kind of getting more consistent of how you stand to the ball. From there, it's just allowing yourself to swing the golf club up, unwind the golf club as you start to turn. Yep. And then that ball is getting in the way and you're not going to see a bunch of manipulation of the golf club. Does that make some sense? Let's see that speed here. Keep that speed up with that club head. Good. That same thing. I don't care if you miss the golf ball completely. I want that same speed. There we go. That was a lot better. Most of the time we get in our own way. We worry about where that golf ball is going to go and just instead of allowing it to go. There we go. That feel different? Good. Good. It's looking, looking better, looking a lot better. So now instead of the grass, we're going to do that same thing with the tee. And I don't care if you miss the tee, hit the tee, do whatever you want. Go ahead and swing it just nice and fast for me here. Unwind those arms. Whew. Yeah. All right, so we're going to pretend like this is not even there, okay? This is, okay. The same, this is our goal. If I can get that tee out of the ground like we just did, we're going to see a very, very beautiful golf swing. So same thing, tee. I don't care about the ball, tee. It looked like it came out pretty decent, but what happened to the golf ball? <laughs> that was a great shot. <laughs> right? Perfect. Our setup position here, you can start to see the setup position is getting much better. Mm -hmm. Hands are in a much, neutral, much more neutral position. Club's in a better spot to start. Not nearly as strong, not nearly as much shaft lean to start there. As we get up into impact, you're going to see how your arms just kind of stay in and pull across here so you see how your arms are kind of pulling mm -hmm. closer to yourself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, this is going to be a really beautiful golf swing. You're going to see a lot more extension in those arms, mm -hmm. unwinding those, a lot more speed at the end. And I really like the backswing. The backswing is getting a ton better. So we're creating a little bit longer of a backswing, more turn with the shoulders. Mm -hmm. And then when we play it through, you're going to see much more speed through the golf swing. Mm -hmm instead of trying to swing at the golf ball. So when you swing through that tee, you will create a ton more speed than when you try to hit the golf ball. Mm -hmm. You can see how much more kind of pulling of your hands come in and all that mm -hmm. fun stuff. So when you get out of the way of thinking about trying to hit the golf ball, you're gonna send that ball flying like you did that one where we just hit it with the tee afterwards, all right? Okay. Make some sense? Yes. You're killing it, I love it. It's the same thing, again, I just wanna see that tee go fly back, hit Gabe right in the chest. Oh gosh, please don't. <laughs> Nice. There we go. Didn't fly up. That's okay. How good was that result? Good. I would take it. Right? On a scale of 1 to 10, what do you put it on? 10 being the highest. For me, a 10. That's a 10? How good a golf could you play if you hit all 10s? I'd play better golf. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Beautiful. Nice. Good. How much speed can you get at the end of the object? I want to see that tee go flying out of the ground again. Don't worry about the ball, just the tee. Yes. <laughs> I like how you're judging the tee now. <laughs> feel, feel good about that, Gene. Feel good about that. <laughs> Allow yourself to feel some happiness. <laughs> she crushes it down the middle, yeah. 100 yards. <laughs> Boom. I didn't get the tee, though. That's all right. If that's, if that's what we're worried about, I'm cool with it. There we go. That's a different sound. Yeah. Yes. I didn't even see where it went. I was just looking at it. 
estimates. <laughs> Good. There we go. I love it. How much better is that? That felt way better. So good. Way I love better. it. Absolutely love it. I'm gonna. Woo! I love it. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes. Are you having too much fun now? Yeah, I'm going to get that too. those arms like you're throwing that golf club at your target. There we go. Yes. That was my favorite one out of the whole bunch. Yeah? Mm-hmm. That was fantastic. Yeah, just a little bit lower, so it's just pretty much close to the ground. Good. Like you're throwing that golf club at the target. Let's see it. There we go. Yeah! She <laughs> doesn't even care about the golf ball anymore. <laughs> just like life. Trying to get a little better every day. Moving towards improvement. <laughs> there we go. I love it. We'll plug. <laughs> you gotta plug it in. <laughs> that was beautiful. So throw one here for me. Throw it right at the target. Oh, it did go over my left hand. Yeah. So that's when we hold on to it too long. If I can sit here and throw these golf clubs, I'm gonna throw this towel at it. Okay. You're gonna start to see that the arm will go towards your target you start to get that look tiger always said he wanted to shake hands with the target yeah so if we're throwing that golf club that release happens back here if i'm pulling my arms in we're never releasing that golf club and that's where those really issues come in we start making some poor contact right we just want to let the club be thrown and then from there we just unwind and free fold all right, all right? make some sense yeah. we go grab these sticks here real quick I like that one though. You can have some fun throwing some golf clubs. Just make like, sure make like, sure you're not in a busy range when I'd you do like it to though. Do that. <laughs> it's a fun it's a fun time. But again, we get so hung up in the world of golf trying to hold on to the golf club that everybody typically holds on for so long they'll throw it high up over their left shoulder if you ever try to throw a golf club. It just goes flying over the left shoulder. So I'm surprised you did it right out the get. Yeah. It's pretty impressive. I've seen my friend Blair throw a few clubs in his day. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't on the range. <laughs> You want to hit one more? Or are you all done? I'm done. You're cashed, you're close. I'm done after I threw my clubs. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Good job today. Thanks. Always a pleasure. It's been fun today. Mm -hmm. Good. I like I said, you're a show pony. You just want to be on camera. Larry. Larry. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good time. I was happy yeah. that you, you said, let's go. Well, I decided to step outside my comfort zone. Good. As you should. Yeah. I think it paid off. You hit some great golf shots today. You should be proud. Thank you. I feel good about them. Good. Now I need to just keep going. Implement it. Yeah. Okay. I'll send you an email and all that fun stuff. Okay. And smile for the camera. Smile for Gabe. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Gabe. Thank you, Janine. Appreciate you. <laughs> cool. That's it. That's all we got for the day, folks. Hope you guys had some fun. Hope you guys learned something. Make sure that you go follow. Do all that fun stuff. We appreciate you. Much love. <laughs> Thank you. All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that time with Janine. Obviously, a golfer that's a little bit higher handicapper. So these higher handicappers have a tendency to get a little hung up on the actual result of the golf ball, and they get pretty down on themselves. So a lot of times, I like to take away the golf ball and just implement a tee. This provides something that they're actually going to strike and it takes away their results. So they don't get so hung up on the actual results. So they can get in here, get their setup, get their grip, make a good free swinging motion, find the tee, not find the tee. We just keep making some swings until we find that tee. And then once we do that a couple times, we'll put a golf ball down and just tell them that we just want to have them find that tee again. 
the result will speak for itself. The ball will go. The other thing that you saw was the towel drill. So the big thing for her with a towel drill is we have a tendency to try to hit the golf ball, which creates a, a very poor transition sequence. We get up to the top of the swing, we'll start transitioning earlier, and there'll be no tension in the rope. So this allows them to get a feeling of the golf club being a little bit longer and then unwinding their arms so they can get a freer swinging motion with their arms and allow the ball to get in the way of that motion. So that's the big things that we talked about with Janine today. I hope you guys had fun. Hope you all enjoyed it. Hope you all learned something. Again, I'm Big Kurt. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Big Kurt. I realize like you're actually really big though. Yeah. Like you're actually a big guy. I'm a big fella. Yes, yeah. sir. Yes, sir. Strong presence. Thank you. I appreciate it. Appreciate you allowing us to come in here, film a lesson today. For sure. Anytime, my friend. Give some value to the viewers. Mm -hmm. Three things I picked up on, maybe four. One, I saw you, you know, making sure you're doing your best to build our confidence. I know these, you know, high handicappers, beginners kind of beat themselves up a lot. 100%. So building the confidence, I saw you do that. And then two, I thought, which was really good and unique was you're always asking, like, what did she feel? What did she feel different? Because mm -hmm. a lot of these beginners who haven't hit thousands of balls don't have that awareness mm -hmm. of actually knowing what was different from that swing that went well and that swing that went bad and kind of, you know, just able to kind of tap herself into her body more so she can start self-diagnosing mm -hmm. and actually know the difference. Yeah. And then that T drill, you know, that really just allowed her to boost her confidence and allow her to focus on one thing that made a lot of things happen. Mm -hmm. So uh, I thought you did a great job. I appreciate it, my and friend. Yeah. You have a very calm presence to yourself. It's a very, you know, relaxed presence. And I could see that go off to Janine as well. So appreciate you guys. Where can people follow you? Uh, so you guys can follow me any of my social media handles. Big Kurt underscore golf on Instagram and Twitter. Big Kurt Golf on Facebook. Big Kurt Golf on YouTube. Go and check it out. Also, I got a website, BigKurtGolf.com. Yeah, you guys. And sign up for my MTI newsletter. I forgot about that. I got to start pushing that out there, you guys, as well. Hit me up on Instagram. We're doing a whole bunch of behind-the-scenes stuff. Appreciate you guys. Trust the process. Keep going. Let's go.